Hey guys, my name is Dorasia and I am going to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. I am here to make a YouTube video today and also future YouTube videos kind of about real life situations that I go through and I guess, well, they're called story times, but story times about what I've gone through and then also just kind of deeper topics that people I feel don't really talk about a lot on YouTube and about videos that I can't find or that people may find a little bit awkward to talk about or a little bit too personal or things like that. Um, one of them being bipolar disorder, which is something that I was diagnosed with a few years ago. So I want to speak about that on YouTube because I actually am not able to find any YouTube videos on that um, subject, which is quite weird to me because I, f I know a lot of people do struggle with it. And I was hoping to find YouTube videos on it when I was younger to kind of help me out when I was first diagnosed with it to kind of, not younger, I was like, well, it was two years ago, honest. No, it was three years ago. Damn, it's been three years. It's been three years. So, yeah, I was younger because three years has been a while. But anyway, I couldn't find any YouTube videos on it. And, um, yeah, I really feel that it's something a lot of people aren't really aware of and a lot of people actually do have and people just don't talk about it. But before we can even talk about bipolar disorder, I guess I should kind of give you a little bit of history about what bipolar disorder is, if you don't know. Most people, I don't know, most people I feel aren't really that familiar with what it means to be bipolar. But to be bipolar, it really just means that you have an instability of, I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but is I feel like it's when you're not really able to control your emotions correctly. And when you go through manic episodes and you have depressive episodes and it's just like basically when when really the sky can be so blue and pretty outside and literally every single thing can be going right for you but you feel like shit it's just like no matter what you could have just won a a bajillion dollars like really you could have just won a shit ton of money you could have just paid off all your loans and you could have just gotten like the guy of your dreams to like want to propose to you all of those things could happen and you would still feel like you don't want to get out of bed and you don't want to see anyone you don't want to talk to anyone and that's when you're going through a depressive episode and then sometimes you could just be feeling really 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 great but not even just like a normal great it's like you feel on top of the world like you feel so strong you feel so confident and that's manic it's just when you feel there's a word for it. I can't think of it. But you just feel very, like, you just feel very, very, very happy and overjoyed. And, like, over, over, overjoyed. Like, and you, and a lot of, like, not a lot, but I, I'm, I'm going to use, I don't mean to use the word a lot if I use it. But, um, but yeah, you feel very overjoyed and everything. And it's just a few people that have bipolar disorder that are that go through their manic episodes end up buying a lot of stuff whenever they go through those episodes because they feel like they are just in, tr in control of everything and they feel like they can just spend whatever they have even if it's so even if it's the last few dollars they have they just feel so great in that moment and they feel so happy and proud and strong and confident that they're willing to spend all of what they have even if even if they're going to be fucked the next day it's just like because they're going through that manic it's just they're just they're just feeling overjoyed and I don't know that's kind of the extremities of it I I have bipolar disorder but I don't have and that's bipolar disorder one I feel like all of those things are really described like that's bipolar disorder one and bipolar disorder two is like that but just on a smaller scale and for me for me personally I have bipolar disorder two I don't really have those super manic episodes where I just like feel very very overjoyed like I have manic episodes where I feel very confident in myself like overly confident and like happy but not to the point where I lose a little bit of a grasp of reality and like what really should happen and what I really should do um so but that's that's with being manic when it comes to my depressive episodes I really like I don't lose grasp of reality but I really do go through it sometimes. Like, I really just can't get myself out of it, no matter how hard I try. And it's it's really hard, especially when you're around people that you love and you feel like you're bringing them down because you kind of are bringing them down because you're so down. And it's just, like, nothing they do to help you get in a better mood will work. And it sucks. 
And yeah, this was, that was a really long description. I'm sorry. You probably you didn't have to really watch that whole thing. I guess you could have just Googled it yourself. But I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit better to hear it coming from someone that actually kind of has it versus hearing it come from a dictionary, you know? Um, <clears throat> but I will say, I probably didn't really describe it perfectly. So if you want to look into it, you probably should. But yeah, so I have a few things pulled up on my phone that I'm going to talk about that I wrote that, I don't know, I just feel like might may interest a few people. Um, so yeah, the reason why I'm talking about this, like I said, is because I really don't see anything like this online. Like I don't see anyone talking about having bipolar disorder or what it's like to have it or what they go through every day or just anything like that. I don't see that. And I feel like it's pretty interesting, actually, because I'm interested in seeing how other people deal with it and how other people handle it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to kind of do, I don't know, not weekly, but like I'm going to probably do follow-up videos on stuff like this. Not follow-up, but I'm going to keep talking about this because it's something, sorry, I'm making my nails pretty small, because it's something that, I don't know, I'm very strong, I feel very strongly and passionate about uh, mental disability, no, not mental disabilities, it's not a disability, mental disorders. I feel very, very passionate about this, especially since, I don't know, a lot of people don't really believe in it, which is crazy to me. A lot of people don't believe in it, like mental disorders, like people think that you really just want to feel sad, and that's not how it is, and hopefully my videos will maybe teach someone what it's like to have bipolar disorder, because especially trying to get other people to understand what it's like to be bipolar and have bipolar disorder. That's one of the big things that I found to be a struggle. And with my boyfriend, it was something that I had a problem with it when we first started dating because I didn't know I was bipolar. And also when I found out, I didn't really know how to handle it and stuff. And it was hard to try and tell him and talk to him about it because I didn't even know about it really very much. And I couldn't find any YouTube videos on it. So, and I still can't really. So, I don't know. Hopefully this helps. But yeah, so that's why I want to talk about it. And, I don't know, how I deal with it. I will say, I personally have to take medication. I have to take a medication every single day that I cannot skip not even two days of. Like, I have to take it every single day. And I have to be on this for the rest of my life. And I know that sounds depressing, and I know that sounds crazy, and maybe it sounds like stupid and like yeah you don't need medicine for the rest of your life like just take it for a little bit and get over it but it's like no when you have bipolar disorder there's literally something in my brain that is just not right it just doesn't work the same way as other people's when it comes to I guess my emotions and just the way I feel about things and the way I react to things and the way I do things honestly not always, but just, you know, whenever I go through my, whenever I don't take my medication, that's for sure. But um, also kind of like a little bit when I'm on my medication too, because little things trigger it. Um, but yeah, I take medication and that's really the only way I find to help me. I also, yeah, I take medication. So <laughs> um, I'm not going to say what the medication is just because I don't really know if I can release all that on here. I don't really know. I'm not really sure how the YouTube thing works with like medications but it's a prescription that I was prescribed by my psychiatrist um, I will say I have recently moved to Philadelphia I'm from Texas originally and I just moved to Philadelphia because I model and I'm trying to be closer to New York but your girl ain't got no money to stay in New York so I'm living in Philly and I'm just making the commute so yeah I live in Philadelphia I just moved here a few months ago and I just really started working at an official job so I don't even have health insurance yet, and I've been off my medication for about almost three months. It's crazy to think about, because I was on my medication for like two years straight, and yeah, so I'm, I feel like my computer moved a little bit, but anyway, yeah, I'm off the medication for about three months, so I would say that's definitely not a good thing to do, but for my case, I don't have a prescription or a psychiatrist up in Philly, so I can't get my medication. And I will say I do have one jar that I was able to get refilled, but I have such a high dosage of my medication, I don't know if I can even take it since I've been off of it for so long. So I'm scared to even go and buy it. Plus, it's like $80 to buy because I don't have the insurance. It's just... Ugh. It's just so much. It's really so much, and I'm going and I'm going through it, and that's really not helping. But um, that'll be another video. 
that'll be another video. But yeah, so I did just move here from Texas. So if you have any questions on what it's like to move out of state, like cross country out of state, but what it's like to move out of state or what it's like to move in general and get on your own two feet and like, you know, well, I, I moved with my boyfriend. We both moved. So if you have a question about like what it's like to move with your boyfriend as well, let me know. Definitely leave it in the comments for me because I am here to answer that. But yeah, I don't know. This video kind of wasn't that great of a, like, I feel like bipolar talk, but it's a start to my bipolar series. So this is kind of just an introduction to myself and I guess a little bit of what I have and yeah, what I'm going through. So yeah, my name is Dorasia and yeah, I live in Philly and I just moved here from Texas. So I am just trying to make it up here while off my medication. <laughs> so it was really hard to be honest with you, but I'm doing it. And yeah, I'm going to definitely make more videos. Um, it is like really late though. So I should probably go to bed because I have work tomorrow. And as I will let you guys know in further videos, one of the things that mess with being bipolar is lack of sleep. And since I'm off my meds, I need as much sleep as I can get, and I really need to just try and be as good as I can with staying in line. So, yeah, but <sighs> I would definitely be making another video. This is actually really fun, and I felt, I don't know, I felt a lot more comfortable after talking for a bit, so uh, I will make another video after, I guess, I post this one.